listen to me, Eva. It's to put you Get somewhere. Get out of my fucking face. What? You're gonna squirt me. Oh, what? Right. What? Right. Let me hear the language, yes. Eva. Yes. Fuck no, you know why? Because, because you need. You know what my mother used to do? She used to ru she used to wash my mouth out with water. Fuck off! Yes, keep saying it. We start to see a different gap. And the next challenge is to prepare a luau for some American teens. This is their party and they're hosting it, okay? So hopefully they'll grow up and know that this is something that they can go do and be a young adult and then uh, have fun with teenagers their own age. That's not about drinking, not about smoking, not about partying. But before the party gets underway, Nan has a last minute request. Challenge I wanna give you for tonight. I'm gonna ask y'all not to smoke while the other kids are here from the time they get here till the time they leave. Y'all good with that? If I do feel like a smoke, I am gonna go for a smoke. I should listen to them and stuff, but that's something I can't stop. It's not gonna be that much fun, that alcohol, but I mean, I'll talk to the kids and see what their opinions are on it, and they look pretty cool. They have come all the way from across the pond from Australia. Oh this God. is Eva. Hi. Hi. I'm Whitney. This is Whitney. <laughs> Hey, Nathan. Eva, nice to meet you. Mate. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that was. Glad you came. We're, uh, nice we're working on drinks now. As the party gets going, it appears things are working out better than Eva expected. I did find some of the boys cute, but um, I don't know. What can you do? But the other man in her life isn't being a gentleman at all. Gab just sat there being Mr. Cool while she was doing all the work and the cooking and serving. Today was definitely payback for you, but yeah, there's still more to come for her. She really hasn't pulled away this week, you know. Over the smallest things, she would just cry over or something. You know? I'll laugh at that. I see that as, you know, stupidity. Not last night. <laughs> Do you all? Looked around a lot. Gab is slipping back into his old selfish habits. I thought he was very disrespectful to Eva and even talked about her ugly in front of everybody. He would just be really rude to me and sort of like shut me down and I was like, well, I'm the one running around getting everyone drinks, cooking the food, you know, bringing you a Mountain Dew. He couldn't even say thank you. He was engaged with everyone else trying to be the social butterfly. I was just about to say that. <laughs> he just sat back and didn't do his part. Things get worse when the teens hit the beach and Gab the show-off comes to the fore. He took off on the jet ski day, went right through all my ropes and everything out there, and I told him not to. I I'm big on if it's your party, then you're not the one that's out there riding all the toys. You need to let your buddies ride all the toys. And I think he was on the jet ski from my perspective more than anybody else. Gab's attitude is so cocky, he even thinks he deserves a cigarette. You don't want to get off, do you? No, not because we're all gone. All right. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. We're in agreement. It's a challenge. Nicotine. But under the cover of darkness, Gab openly defies Nan. You know what it's time for? Yeah, bro. Thank you. And draws Eva in. Trust is pretty important to Buck. I suppose we betrayed it, but... Smoke's a smoke. It's not gonna hurt anyone. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, too. <laughs> but just in time, they realise their Florida dad, Buck, has spies on the ground. She's gonna have to snitch. So it's a quick change of strategy. Ah, uh, Buck, you're gonna kill me for this? Uh-oh. Me and Eva had one cigarette. Okay. Uh, I appreciate your honesty. That's probably bigger than the cigarettes, you know, but... Uh, all right, well, y'all uh, go get ready for bed. It's late, and we'll talk about all that in the morning. In the morning. But Eva's night is not over yet. She's made a date with the boy from the party, which means sneaking out of the house. I'm not scared of the consequences. I mean, really, what's the worst thing that can happen? I miss out on tomorrow. They're not my parents, so I really don't care. Oh, 
the things we do for boys, huh? Hey, sorry. I had to like full run away and yeah. shit. What's going on? Okay, it looks like the kids just stepped into stupid. I'll be back. It's gotta be a rush though, being in America and sneaking out. Yeah, it's awesome. I feel like a drink. There's a flashlight in my house. They're looking for me. Eva! Shit. Let's just get out of here. Would she call the cops in here? Eva! Okay, well, I'll go back if you want. Yeah, I, I think it's the best idea. I mean, Stop! Right now! You want back? Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. See ya. This is fucked. I didn't mean to worry you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, I just went for a walk to have a cigarette. I couldn't sleep. Do you realize there's alligators that are all out here that will eat you, and you are out here and doing so? I would never, ever do this. I wouldn't let my little dog do this. And you know what? Here, no, no, come here, come here, I'm not done with you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Try, try, for the next three days, I'm gonna give you a challenge, okay? Yeah, I want you to smoke that, because you're gonna enjoy that, because that's your last one. And I don't think you'll have another opportunity to step out of your room. You're a tight ass, that's it. Like, I went for a walk. Eva's lying and swearing is adding fuel to Buck's fire. Listen to me, Eva. It's to put you Get somewhere. Get out of my fucking face. Hey, listen. What? You're going to squirt me. Oh, that's it. Uh, let me hear the language, yes. Eva. Yeah, no, up. you know why? Because you need, you know what my mother used to do? She used to run, she used to wash my mouth out with water. Fuck off! Yes, keep saying it. I'm trying to help you. What are you saying? I can't Fuck understand off. you. Wash you my mouth you up. To you're, I told you you were not going to talk that way to me. You get fucked, mate. Suck your dick. Shut your fucking face. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. Good night. Buck is making sure Eva can't escape again. They think that they're going to rain on your parade with their attitude and their lying and all of that, that there's a huge penalty to pay for that. That's pretty sturdy. And we'll go finish this battle in the morning. Eva has no idea of the trouble she's just bought herself. I think we had lost the upper hand with Eva as far as um, her knowing that we didn't. We only had so long to work with her, and she could just get by on a certain number of days. I thought I set the boundaries, but obviously I didn't set them strong enough. Aussie teen Eva's midnight rendezvous with a local boy has infuriated her Florida parents, Buck and Nan. Eva, this is Glenn Ellison, main operating guy of Camp Consequence. So they've called in the cavalry. Basically what I am is a mediator to determine what is the best way to correct something that happened last night. What I've already convinced everybody is simply that they can't control you. You're gonna do what you want, when you want, and how you want. That's a fact. But what you can't control is the consequences. You got two options. You can stay here under their rules, or you can live in an environment that's not quite as nice. I promise you, you won't like it. You can decide to do it their way, or you can decide to be very immature and not very smart and do it this way. We have no bathrooms here. Okay, cool. No air conditioning, no beds. So you get off on disciplining young girls. Oh yeah, I love it. You're sick in the head, mate. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! I'm not in your face. What the? Move! 
Now you welcome to my world, little girl. You're a fucking freak. Yeah, you bet your life I am. Fuck off, dickhead.